Catalyst, too. Was it the defense, or did you kind of feel like you guys were just kind of able to, to kind of get going offensively? I just felt like we were the more aggressive team. Uh, and honestly, you know, that, that comes with defense, offense, on offensive end, executing plays, passing the ball, getting everybody touches, shooting, you know, good shots, game shots. And on defensive end, just being aggressive, forcing them to make tough shots, uh, and forcing them to turn the ball over and, um, and going down near the end. Norrence, I know it's your second straight start. Tommy's coming off the bench. He had 11 points today and seven in the first half. How much has that been a help for you all, just knowing that he's that instant offense and hasn't really kind of pouted despite what kind of coming off the bench and just kind of helping you all out? I mean, that's big. Whenever It's, it's tough when your role's changing on a team. Uh, whenever you're able to give what you can to the team every day, every practice, every game, I mean, that's, that's been good for us and for him. So. You know, it's a big rebound advantage in the uh, in the first half, and this team wasn't, you know, that small. Uh, can you tell me about winning battles, especially on their uh, defensive side of the floor in the first half, because that seemed to propel you all on your 21-3 to run? Uh, that's big for us. We want to be top three in the Big 12 when we come to that. Uh, so we're working on it in practice and games. We do drills. I mean, we that's an emphasis for us. Offensive rebounds, defensive rebounds, blocking out, things like that. So whenever it translates to the games, it's always helpful. So that's good. Justin, what is it about guys on your team named Smith that seem to be able to do dunks in the way that they've been able to do tonight? I don't know, man. All, all I know is Zaire is a special player with the most bounce I think I've ever seen in my life, and he did a dunk I've never seen before. And he moral threw him a chest pass, and he caught it jumping backwards. And I don't know. It was it was unbelievable, and uh, you know, definitely you know just shows to. What, what type of player he is and, you know, just gives us that energy that we need. And Zach as well, you know, obviously with the windmill down the lane, uh, this just this those plays, you know, get us up and, you know, get us more aggressive and just want to make more plays just like that. I had to play with Z, was coaching. <laughs> Mark Adams was working on that this morning with Z. <laughs> Justin, you had a uh, pretty darn good night. Perfect from the field, perfect from the free throw line. Talk about the play of your own play and the play of your teammates to give you a little ball and get you to be able to make these shots? Yeah, well, my play first comes from my teammates putting me in that position. Uh, you know, obviously, I wouldn't have had the night I had if they didn't find me. And, you know, I was just trying to focus on scoring, um, just being in the right places at the right time and, you know, just, just paying attention to detail um, and be there on the on defensive end and um, just taking good shots on offense, not trying to force anything and just make sure we, we get a good offensive uh, possession. Stay in the back with Adam. Norrence, it seemed like you know in the first half you you were all over the floor. You were winning a lot of 50-50 balls, and of course doing what you do down low uh, on the offensive defensive end. Did you feel like that kind of galvanized this team to to allow you guys to get out to that early lead? <laughs> I mean, it better. I mean, being a leader on the team, whatever you can do to bring that energy to spark a team, uh, that's what you need to do every night. I mean, every guy needs to contribute in ways that they can uh, to help our team. So I, I hope so. What does galvanize mean? That's a big word. Get the troops going. Galvanize. I got you, Adam. Yeah. Hey, hey, Justin, this is a program that waited a long time to, to be ranked, you know, the 2009-2010 season, last time it happened, and then it happened, and then went up and, and played Seton Hall. So how, how big was it to, to get re-ranked, and how much do you want to protect that going forward? Oh, well, as a team, you know, we really don't pay attention to rankings. We take every game individually, uh, respect every opponent. Um, and play every game like it's our last. And, you know, I feel like this game was definitely kind of more of a validation game. Um, you know, every time you get ranked, you know, you got to make sure you validate the next game um, and prove that you're one of the top teams. So I think we did that very well tonight. And uh, everybody had fun. So that's the main thing. Any other questions for the players?